Welcome dear learners, welcome to Ashvi Management Classes. Dear learners, today we will start with the lecture series on financial management. Now before we start understanding the subject financial management, we need to understand the syllabus structure of financial management. Understanding the syllabus structure helps you in understanding the scope of the subject, the spread of the subject or the extent to which it covers. So it, it, it becomes important for anybody, whoever is reading any uh, new subject, it is important to first understand the syllabus in order to gain brief understanding about what it covers. So, we try to first understand the syllabus structure and then we proceed to understand the subject. So, as you know, the structure of the syllabus is like this. The total entire syllabus is structured into five units. Unit 1, the financing function. Unit 2, the investment decision. Unit 3, the financing decision. Unit 4, current assets management and dividend decisions. Unit 5, corporate restructuring and corporate governance. Now let us understand what we will be uh, understanding in each of this unit in depth. So unit number one is the finance function under which you will be introduced to the subject so called financial management. Now dear learners, now when you are new to the subject and the subject is new to you. It becomes the duty of mine to introduce you people to the subject. So as part of this, we, we uh, under unit number one, we will be learning something about the meaning of financial management, its nature, its scope and how it has evolved over a period of time, different other concepts relating to financial management. Next, coming to unit number two. The name of the unit number two is the investment decision. See, under this unit number two, you will be understanding how to make investment decisions, which is an important part or which is considered to be an important uh, part in an industry. So how industries make their investment decisions. So here you will be learning few techniques and tools to judge where to invest or which projects to be invested or which projects perform better. So all these tools and techniques will help you out in judging an investment proposal. So all these techniques and tools will be taught to you in unit number two. Now, once you are done with unit number two, we'll proceed to unit number three. In uh, unit number three is named as the financing decision, under which you will be learning the sources of finance. Now, dear learners, when you have an investment decision, when you made to, uh, your mind to invest, when you have chosen a project where you want to invest your money, but what are the sources from where you can borrow the finance and at what cost, how to calculate the cost of these borrowings. So under unit number three, you will be learning the sources of finance and how to calculate the cost of each source and the impact of cost of capital on the profit, etc, etc. You will be learning under unit number three, the financing decision. Now, once you are done with unit number three, you will be directed to unit number four that is current assets management and dividend decisions. Now, current assets management and dividend decisions is uh, one of the important uh, uh, topic in financial management. See, once 
an industry identifies its investment proposal, borrows or makes the financing decisions and invests its fund, it starts generating profits. Now the question is, how to repay back to the shareholders or the investors who have invested money? That is what is called your dividend decisions. Under unit number four, you will be understanding how to satisfy the shareholders. Like what percentage of profit to be declared as dividend and when to declare a dividend and some topics related to current assets etc etc will be learned under unit number four. Then comes the fifth unit and the last unit is corporate restructuring and corporate governance under which you will be learning uh, some interesting topics uh, related to mergers, acquisitions and takeovers and um, the concept of corporate governance you will be uh, learning coming across these topics. Now, friends, we can see how beautifully the syllabus of financial management is structured in these five units. Now, from the coming on lecture series, we will try to take up each of this unit and discuss this each, each of this unit in detail. So, last but not the least, what you need to do is, please subscribe to the channel Ashwi Management Classes and press the bell icon. This will enable you to receive the notifications whenever a new lecture is released. So, you will not be missing out of uh, any lecture. So, till then, good day, goodbye.